What is up YouTube? We're going to come to you today with a video on how we can get the oil warmer in my 2016 Aeropract A22. Here we go. So as I mentioned, I have a 2016 Aeropract A22 with a Eurotax 912 ULS engine. And we're having a bit of difficulty on cooler days getting the oil temperature to come up to operating temperature in a decent time span. So what we're going to do is try to put a heating pad on that oil tank so on cold days we can hopefully shorten down our warm-up times with this heating pad we'll see what happens i don't know if it'll work or not we're going to give it a shot but uh and also let's do one more thing so we kind of get a baseline reference let's just see what the temperature of the oil is in the engine now it's reading it in the engine and not the whole tank and outside air temperature is about 62 degrees um, but our oil temp is 57. now i know from a few days ago that i came out on a day that was about 46 degrees it took 18 minutes to get the oil temperature to 120 degrees which is what road tax recommends as their baseline operating temperature and 18 degrees is a long time to be sitting on the ramp waiting for the oil to warm up and then of course when i start taxiing uh, the oil temperature wants to drop a little bit and then again on takeoff we had some problems with the oil temperature maintaining 120 degrees and in fact the entire flight it only got to 141 degrees which i still think is 50 degrees too cool uh, i'm not sure that all the uh, moisture gets burned out of the oil at 141 142 degree oil temp so having said all that we do have a thermostasis oil thermostat that we're going to put on next week uh, my mechanic's going to put that on which i think will help with the oil temperature um, during flight uh, as well as warm up but my thought on the on the oil tank heater is that i can put it on a switch on unit and i can control that with my cell phone app and I can turn it on 20, 30 minutes before I get to the airport and the oil temperature will already be, you know, somewhere close to operating temperature, hopefully. Now the oil pad that I got, or the heating pad that I have is a 250 watt. So it's, it's not something that I want to plug in and leave plugged in all the time for fear of uh, burning something or just getting too hot. But it is something I think that I can plug in, turn on 30 minutes prior to getting to the airport and having a toasty oil by the time I get here. So we're gonna give this a shot and see if it works. You guys are gonna come along with me, I hope. Okay, so we've got her uncowled and here's the tank. And with a infrared thermometer, we can check and see that says 73 but i don't believe it it's um has 60 what is that 68 71 72 64 i'm not real sure why that's the hot spot but uh, i'm not sure i believe that being 74 degrees it doesn't feel 74 but anyway what we're going to do with the with the pad is I'm going to clean off the back side of it. I think I'm going to wrap it around over here. And I'm going to wrap the cord, this cord, through maybe this hole. Do a little zip tie into the engine brace there and see what we come up with. Who we got leaving? Oh, yeah. It's a good looking airplane. Good looking airplane. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's the thought. We're going to uh, do that. And I'll probably put the maybe somewhere right right around here it'd still be hidden by the upper cowling and then i can still reach it to plug it in so we're going to clean this off real good on the back side and um i don't know if that's a good spot or not i don't want to put it over the label but also don't want to get it that close to the exhaust i don't know we'll find a spot for it here in just a minute and um maybe we'll put it on vertically or something we'll figure it out stand by okay as you can see we've got it stuck on there i hope i've got it stuck well i'm not i'm not 100 sure and they say if you get hot or if you get it to where it's not stuck completely you'll get hot spots in it which will cause the uh, pad to short or not short but it'll yeah i guess it will short it'll just get too hot in a couple places and burn out but anyway uh, there it is and our 
temperature 60, 6 degrees. So we're going to plug it in. I'm going to plug it in first with the cowling off of it um, just for a few minutes and see if it sticks or see if it falls off. And then I'll uh, check it out. We'll recowl it. And um, once the cow's on it, I'll plug it back in for about 30 minutes and we'll hop in. We'll check on the engine monitoring uh, gauge and see what the oil temperature is. And then I plan on pulling it out and timing it to 120 degrees. See what happens. Okay, so it's been plugged in 30 seconds, uh, maybe 45. It's uh, the pad itself is at, I don't know, 200 and, about 200 degrees. The tank is uh, 67. I'm already having a little bit of issues there with it not sticking. So not sure how we're gonna fix that, but we'll see. I may end up having to put something around the edge as far as a sealant. But anyway, it's, uh, she definitely gets hot. Okay, as you can see, I got the cowling put back on it. And uh, we're, we've been warming now for 16 minutes. I think I'll let it go for 30, maybe 35 minutes. And then we'll see what we get. And I'll pull it out, or we'll start it up, see how long it takes to get to temperature. And uh, as the old dude stale cracker would say, while we wait, we hydrate. Well, yeah, I gotta wait till later for the beer. There goes one of those hair dryer airplanes. You know, hair dryer airplanes. Egg beater airplanes. Hair dryer airplanes. I kind of gotta admit, hair dryer airplanes are kind of cool. They're all kind of cool. He's gonna be a first class noise maker though. So as you can see, I've already started the airplane. And at time mark at 6.02 p.m., I had a 60 degree oil temperature. And I just sat here and let it run. There it is, 6.02. Sit here and let it run until we got it to 120 degrees. And we'll get another time stamp when it hits 120. And here we are at 120 degrees. And the timestamp, I believe, is what, 611? Yeah, 611. So, nine minutes to 120 degrees. Okay, so in this instance, it took us uh, about 11, 10, 9, 9, 10, 8, uh, 9 or 10 minutes to get to temperature uh, versus 18 the other day, which, uh, you know, that's about half the time now you also have to realize it's 20 degrees warmer today than it was the other day when it took 18 minutes i also only left the heating element plugged in for um 45 minutes 50 minutes i think it's gonna I'll have to play with the time it's gonna take a little longer than that i think to get the uh, oil uh, much warmer just it's not gonna heat up real fast which kind of makes me glad i went with the 250 watt uh heating pad so anyway we'll just uh we'll keep an eye on it and see if we can fine tune it see if we can get the times uh down a little bit further and then by adding the uh thermostasis uh, oil thermostat should bring it down by another 30 percent as far as the waiting time and also keep the oil up uh, warmer when we fly another thing um my goal for 2023 um I'm not gonna call it a New Year's resolution, but it is a goal for 2023, is I want to grow this YouTube channel and I wanna get it monetized. I've had the YouTube channel for a long time. It's always been a toy, a hobby, uh, not something that I put as much effort into, but I really wanna change that for 2023. And if you've stuck around this long to watch the whole video, help me grow this channel. I can't do it without you. Help me grow this channel for 2023. Let's get it monetized to where I can uh, have a little bit more free time to make content for you guys. And 
the A22. Also, drop a like, a comment, tell me what you want to see out of the A22, tell me what kind of flying videos you want to see. I know there's a plethora of flying videos and flying channels on YouTube, but there is just about any niche. There is a ton of uh, videos and creators. So uh, let me know what you guys want in 2023, and I look forward to helping bring some of that content. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you guys.